All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write some more electron configurations along with help you once again understand valence electron counts and uh, explain paramagnetic and diamagnetic. So let's get started with an example. Let's start with Fe. Now remember, when you write electron configurations, you write down the uh, basically the last colors and the last rows you pass, at least the way I have my periodic table labeled and colored for you. Uh, I'm going to pass up 1s2. That's why I write it down. I don't write down 1s1 because I have to also pass up the 1s2, which is you know, basically bigger. Okay. Now, once I write that one down, I'm out of the 1s2 um, area, and I'm entering into a new row. And I get ready to try to go across the period, and when I do that, basically the row, when I do that, I end up going through two colors, so I have to make two more writings. I have to record that. I pass out of 2s2. I pass out of the 2p6 as well because I got to keep going. I'm trying to get down to here to iron. Okay, so I pass up the 1s2. I passed up the 2s2. I pass up the 2p6. And I'm also going to pass up the 3s2. So I'll write that down. Okay, I'm also going to pass up this 3p6. Okay, I'm also going to pass up the 4s2, but I'm finally going to land by location in the 3d what? Well, let's count it. Let's see. Uh, 3d1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 3d6. So that's the electron configuration of Fe, and it's neutral. Okay, now let's go ahead and get the valence electron count. Now, the valence electron count of Fe is what? Well, the highest energy level and the outermost orbital is 4s. Now, your outer orbitals are always s and p. Your inner orbitals is d and f. Okay? Now, basically, you look for the highest principal quantum numbers, and you pay attention to those first. Our highest principal quantum number is 4 which S is an outer orbital. It's got two in it. Now remember, if D is partially filled, you count it. So basically you got this two and this six, which, which adds up to what? Eight. So it's got eight valence electrons. Now if you look, iron is also in column number eight. Okay, so that's how you tell that. Now, paramagnetic or diamagnetic, okay? Uh, D or P. Paramagnetic or diamagnetic? Basically, it's like this. Uh, diamagnetic is um, basically when you have, let me think of the easiest way to tell you this without giving you a book definition, something that would make sense. An electron configuration of an element is diamagnetic if every single orbital that is written down is completely filled. Basically, S has twos, every P has a six, and every D has a ten, and every F has a fourteen. So basically you can think of diamagnetic as being done, being done filled. And paramagnetic you can think of as being partially filled. Now paramagnetic and diamagnetic has to deal with magnetism and things like that. So if you want the book's definition, you can just look back in the notes and get those. But I want to help you to figure this out much more easily than, than that. But you can just look the definitions up and, you know, you probably would have to know it for a word bank for a multiple choice question. But anyway, that's all it is. Just think as D for diamagnetic is being done and paramagnetic being partially filled. So when you look here, this d orbital does not have 10, so it's partially filled. So that makes the entire uh, thing of iron being partially filled. It makes it paramagnetic. Basically, it has magnetism, you know, meaning it, it can be magnetized. Basically, it, you know, it it's like a magnet. You can put a magnet on, it and the magnet holds. Okay, it's paramagnetic. Okay, now uh, let's do another one. Uh, let's do, uh, well, why don't we do oxygen? It's kind of easy. It's all the way up here. Plus, it gives me a little bit more room to work with. And I don't have to write so much. Okay, oxygen is, you pass up 1s2. You pass up 2s2. But you land on 2p what? Well, oxygen is right here. And that's 2p1, 2, 3, 4. So its location is 2p4. 
Now as far as valence electron count, what is it? Well, the highest uh, principal quantum number here is 2. Okay, so basically we're going to look here. Notice we have no partially filled Ds because we didn't get near the Ds. Okay, so valence electron count is what? Well, 2 plus 4 is 6. But if you pay close enough attention, oxygen is in column 16, so that's 6 valence electrons. Now as far as being paramagnetic or diamagnetic, well, what do you think? Is that filled? No, it's not. It's partially filled, so it's paramagnetic. Now well, let's do uh, let's do another one. Let's do argon. Ar. Okay. Argon. Okay. Argon is right here. It's in the three p six. That's its location. So if you look, I've got to pass up one s two. So I write that down. I gotta pass up 2s2. I've gotta pass up 2p6. I gotta pass up 3s2. And finally, I wanna land on 3p what? 6. Now, valence electron count. Let's get this. What's the valence electron count of argon? Well, it is a noble gas, and all noble gases except for helium have 8 valence electrons. Helium only has two. But let me show you this. Notice that the highest principal quantum number, highest energy level, is three. Notice that this S has two and this P has six. Two plus six is eight. Now, is it uh, diamagnetic or is it paramagnetic? Well, everything's full. S has got twos, P's have sixes. So it's full, so it's done. So it's diamagnetic. All right, guys. Um, let me think if I can uh, think of another one that we can look at really quickly. Uh, let's look at aluminum. Okay. Now aluminum. Okay, aluminum is right here. I'm starting to run out of room on my paper to keep it on there, but it's at the 3p1 location. So if you're trying to do this on your own, you should get this: 1s2, 2s2, uh, 2p6. 3s2 and finally 3p1. Notice the aluminum uh, is at 3p1 location. That's where I stopped. Valence electron count. If you're looking here, so they have it on the periodic table. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3. But notice the aluminum is in column 13, so that's why it's 3 valence electrons. As far as diamagnetic or paramagnetic, believe it or not, since the p is partially filled, it's paramagnetic. Okay guys, I hope this helps as far as uh, getting more experience writing valence, uh, excuse me, getting more experience writing electron configurations and I hope I explain more clearly the valence electron counts and how to get them looking at the electron configurations and I hope I cleared up uh, paramagnetic and diamagnetic. Okay, alright guys.